Okay, there are two cases of uh, Wisconsin going on here. Uh, or probably a lack of Wisconsin. So let's start it off with a couple weekends ago. Uh, Paul Ryan made a tweet about a woman in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, a school secretary, making, well, getting a raise of $1.50 per week. One dollar and fifty cents. So, a dollar fifty. And get this. He cites that, believe it or not, this is all thanks to the tax reform. The tax bill that will make bi millionaires and billionaires pay less in taxes than the rest of us. One problem. Keep in mind this is a buck fifty a week. Not a buck fifty an hour, buck fifty a week. You can't even do much with that. And you know, if you do if you do your uh, totally that's only seventy eight dollars a year. How many people can actually go on with seventy eight dollars a year in their pocket? No, I know it's it's, it's extra, but as soon as uh, Paul Ryan tweeted that out, Twitter's blown up and everyone else just caved in. So what happened? Well, it turns out that the woman in question, uh, by, Ms. by the name of Mrs. Ketchum, nothing related to Pokemon. Nothing related to Pokemon. So let's just get that out of the way. But yes, Mrs. Ketchum... It's kind of funny though, I mean, a, a, a fanfic writer for Pokemon, I, things like that will happen. But anyway, she says that, uh, yeah, I, I am getting a, a buck fifty more per week thanks to this race, but that's not the whole story. Now, I could delve into, you know, what the whole story was, but at the same time, you know, I'm, you guys can actually look it up on the web. Now, Paul Ryan did delete the tweet, but uh, he didn't do it fast enough. Especially when you have uh, his opponent, Randy Bryce. Mr. Iron Starge. He made a ploy, well, a troll onto Speaker Ryan, in which he had uh, donors give a buck fifty to his campaign. And what happened? He needed more than one hundred thousand dollars, so the campaign uh, idea worked, all because of one dollar cents. Oops. Now the other Republican in this case in Wisconsin, so yes, this is my home state. Brag about it later. Comes to us from Kevin Nicholson. He is going to be the re the Republican candidate uh, who will take on. Senator Tammy Baldwin. Now, I've had the pleasure of meeting Tammy Baldwin personally. Again, I'm bragging a little bit. But, Kevin Nicholson decides I'm going to take on Tammy Baldwin for Senate in Wisconsin. Unfortunately, he forgot that he's part of a family of Democrats. Oops. What's with the oops in Wisconsin? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. But anyway, it turns out that uh, Kevin's parents donated the maximum amount legally to the Democratic Party of Tammy Baldwin in lieu of $2,700. Doesn't sound like much, but then again, she's dealing with uh, ads attacking her totaling more than around ten million dollars just to get her out of office. Now that is that is despicable to say the least. And most of that money is coming from the Koch brothers. What I'm trying to say is that Republicans want to keep up with this whole uh, notion that the tax reform bill is going to help everyone. I mean, it's only going to be helping the top one percent, as I've mentioned many, 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 many times already. Now, what will happen? Well, Kevin Nicholson wants to move out of his parents' house. I kind of find it funny that K 
his parent, that he, a Republican, has been lambasted by his parents who are Democrats. That's not a Wisconsin moment for him. That's a winless Wisconsin. Winless in a fault. And hopefully Paul Ryan and, T and Kevin Nicholson will realize that being a Republican is a death sentence, especially in your political careers.